Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks, Alex. Thank you for having me. Yeah, always a pleasure having you. Now let's let's look at sex toy. Okay. <laughs> Uh, sex toys are, are materials or devices made uh, in the image of genital mm. for sexual stimulation. Mm. We have uh, for mm. the male and we also have for the female. Mm. So, so now, uh, let's look at the use of it. Uh, people will tell you, I prefer using the sex toy to uh, uh, having sexual intercourse with a male. How safe? How safe? Let's look at it from head to angle now. How safe is it? Uh, when uh, someone is, or let me say, when a woman is exposed to too much of uh, sex toys, using sex toys too much, uh, it has a lot of uh, detrimental effects on the body system uh, due to uh, the chemicals that are used to manufacture it. And of course, mm. if the, the high the, the dosage of those chemicals are high because the sex toy industry makes sure that they had those chemical in high uh, uh, quantity in order to you know softening it to make it realistic because it's going to be inserted in the genital so it has to be very smooth and uh, easy for insertion so during the process of making this thing safe so that it will not pinch you or whatever they had chemicals in excess that can damage the body system if a woman is too exposed. Because research told us that women use sex toys more than men. Mm -hmm. The percentage oh, of women that use sex are more than I'm just hearing for the first time that men use sex toys. I don't know about that. <laughs> Maybe uh, I'm there are some couples, <laughs> uh, some couples prefer, some couples use sex toys during intercourse. Some couples, the two, the man and, okay. and the woman might use some certain sex toys during sexual activity. Yes. But uh, women use it more than men. Yes. Okay, now let's look at, uh, are there any... Uh, diseases or infection associated with the use of sex toy? Uh, yes, sir. especially uh, cancer. Because most of all those chemicals, we have about 10 harmful chemicals that makes a sex toy toxic. For example, we have talate. Talate is ranked first in the list of most toxic material. And uh, materials that are made of plastic normally have talate. But the reason why that of sex toys is more uh, damaging is that is going to be inserted in the body system. And of course, the high dosage of this talate may cause cancer and can also damage the reproductive system of the body. There are some women that for two years, three years, some even five years or more, they didn't relate with any man. It is the sex toy they are using. And so when they are too exposed to it, the high dosage of all those things can cause, that can even damage the kidney, the liver, and the digestive system. Also, we have latex. Is also uh, one of the chemicals used in the production of of of, of, of uh, sex toy because sex toy itself is like plastic latex. So uh, latex uh, is also toxic to the body. There are some people that are allergic to it and they might not even know until they are exposed. Latex itself does not emit any toxic effect, but some people are allergic to too much of latex. We also have bisphenol A. Bisphenol A is also a chemical that is used to softening. Uh, uh, all these uh, sex toys to make them soft, to make them smooth, to smoothen the skin, uh, the, 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 the uh, material. So uh, what this phenomenon does is that uh, it disrupts hormones. So women who are too exposed to sex toys, they, they can have uh, this hormonal imbalance. Some people have hormonal imbalance that is not due to use of, of sex toys. Based. Anyone who is exposed to this phenomenon can have a uh, disrupted hormone. Whereby they start having hormonal imbalance, reduce the level of uh, androgen in their body, and also diabetes or even obesity. Yes. And for a woman to be exposed to bisphenol A is only in sex toys that a woman can find that chemical. We also have melamine. Melamine is also part of this uh, uh, ingredient used in, in production of a uh, sex toy. It's, uh, and uh, the melamine causes irritability, renal damage, and less urine. Some women, when they are too exposed to sex toy, they have difficulties in urinating. Some of them are not be able to urinate, whereby the urine will be so small. Yes, because of the effect of melamine. Then glycerin. Glycerin occurs in the self-lubricating sex toys. There are some sex toys that are self-lubricating. Now, there's glycerin okay. they will put inside. Yes, 
that are self lubricated because when you're saying that oh uh, uh, sex toys does not have self lubricating uh, organ like the normal a, a man coming mm. ejaculating etc some women will tell you that there are some sex toys that have self lubricating chemical that is glycerin and too much of exposure to glycerin can cause yeast infection in the woman's vagina, it can cause this infection, increased risk of STDs. Because by the time the glycerin start reducing, the, the, the body can peel off. The genital inside which you are inserting this thing can peel off. And so it's now altered the natural process of the vagina. Vagina is self-cleansing. It changes pH. It, 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 it lubricates itself. That is the normal activity of the female genital. But the glycerin in the sex toy that the woman is using every day can alter the system of the, of, of the vagina, therefore exposing the woman to STDs, at times yeast infection. So uh, we also have parabens. Parabens is meant to increase the, sh the shape life of a uh, glycerin. You know, when you have, for example, if you produce a juice, you are gonna have preservative to preserve it for some time. The same thing, the glycerin that is put in self-lubricating uh, sex toys, that glycerin must have an increased shelf life. Therefore, they put parabens. It is meant to protect the shelf life of liquid item. Therefore, what parabens does is that it interrupts the natural menstrual cycle and encourages the growth of cancer cells. All these chemicals that I've mentioned above, they encourage the growth of cancer cells in the body. Because when all those chemicals are in the body, they are inorganic. They cannot be broken down. It's only organic materials that can be broken down, but these are inorganic. All these bisphenol A, volatile organic compound, glycerin, all those things are inorganic. They accumulate into the body, like the body system, the cells and tissues of the body. That's where you have cancer of the lung, cancer of the liver. Those who have cancer, we are not saying it's only sex toys that can expose them, but those who are who are addicted to sex toys, they can be at the risk but of we're cancer. Talking about, also, we're talking about likely, likelihood now, right? Yeah, yeah, yes, sir, yes, sir. Then cadmium. Okay. Cadmium is an heavy melter. Uh, in fact, it is ranked seventh, seventh world most toxic heavy melter. But what cadmium does is that it also softens material. It is used as a softener to soften the, the, the sex toy. And also cadmium can expose uh, someone to, uh, to cancer, also a uh, cardiovascular uh, problem. Neuro, neuro, uh, neurological problem and gastrointestinal system can be damaged. That is the digestive system. When someone is exposed to too much of cadmium, cadmium is, is one of the notorious heavy melter. I work with cadmium during my master's program that we have to spike our soil uh, with it. We got to cover every part of our body because cadmium is very toxic. It's a heavy melter that once it is inserted in the body, it cannot be broken down. So but all those things are found in sex toys. And the sex toy industry have to put it because they want it to be softening. They want it to be soft so that it will enter the genital without any obstruction. But the aftermath effect is damaging. We also have volatile organic uh, compound, VOC, ingredient in, the, in, the, in this uh, sex toy. So they are present in materials that like adhesive, materials that, that, that are used like gum. So the volatile organic compound is meant to join all these chemicals together so that it will stick and become one. So this volatile organic compound also causes difficulty in breathing, too much of exposure to it, then nausea, early morning vomiting. The woman just wake up, she's feeling like vomiting. Because if a woman is exposed to too much of those things, it also causes skin damage, skin irritation. It damages the, the skin. We also have tri trimethyl chloride, phenol, carbon disulfide. We have aftoluene. All these chemicals are put together. And the problem is there is no organization that regulates the sex toys industry. If that it is, is what if I it wanted to ask. Now, because, yeah, if, if we have all these chemical substances in the, uh, the sex toy and is that damaging, why is it not being regulated? People have access to these things. These, are, these things are being sold everywhere. Why is it not being regulated? And uh, uh, there is no awareness. Awareness is not being created about the risk of all these things. Yeah, yes. You know, sex itself as a topic, people do shy away from it. Nobody mm, wants to yeah. talk about it. Have, have so a discussion, everyone, yeah. Mm, yes, nobody wants to have discussion about it. So a lot of people do not know. And we live in a society whereby women, once they have issues with a man, they forget about men 
completely. So they look for alternatives. And so who now have time to start reading, start doing research about all those things. Apart from even all these chemicals, there are other effects of sex toys that we are going to talk about, but this chemical first, because all those chemicals we mentioned are carcinogenic, they are carcarious, they can cause cancer. They encourage the growth of cancer cells. Those ones that do not cause cancer directly, they encourage the growth of cancer cells in the body. For example, cadmium itself is, is very, very damaging. Bisphenol A encourage the growth of the cancer mm -hmm. cells if they are too much in the body. Wow. <laughs> uh, honestly, if you, if you are listening to us or you're going to watch this video later, if you have the intention of using such sex toy, you have to listen and listen very well and listen, to, watch this video again and again and send it, probably send it to your friends that you know they might be using these things and let them do their own research to find out. Don't just take our word for it, but let them do another research because the essence of this program actually is to educate you on the danger of or, or, or the risk uh, associated with the use of sex toy or you call it libido because, uh, uh, Jumoke is a, she's a sex therapist and she's a human biologist also. So she knows what she's telling you, but the risks that are involved. Many of you at a certain age, you don't actually know what hit you. You don't know the problem you are having actually is a sex toy that you have been used to. Now, let's come back to you. You said there are other, uh, 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 what do you call it, um, other chemicals that are actually uh, uh, effect. There are other effects. Apart okay, from the okay. fact that, uh, yes, apart from the fact that too much exposure to sex toys can damage your body system, give you cancer, give you urinary tract infection, gastrointestinal uh, problem, etc. Uh, the health benefits of sex cannot be achieved when you're using uh, sex toys. For example, now, sex toys cannot alleviate your stress. As a woman, one of the health benefits of sex is that sex alleviates stress. It removes stress from the body. But sex toys cannot do all this. Because the time that you use to come now, the time of come will be reduced. For example, if normal sex with a man is supposed to take like five or ten minutes, when you're using sex toy, within two minutes you have come. So that's your come time is shortened. So the time that a man will use to work on you, you know, the, the sex is not the real sex. Sex starts from the hugging, the touching, fingering, etc. So that time now, your body, your nerves will relax. There is an hormone we call cortisol. That cortisol will calm your nerves. Yeah. Serotonin is, is like a is like a neurotransmitter. I mean, serotonin. So you've got to, you know, a, a man who understands your body anatomy and plays with you such that you are able to release all those special hormones like serotonin and cortisol. You will relax your stress will be alleviated, but sex toys cannot do all these things. That is the reason why women who are addicted to sex toys, they are still aggressive. They, they are still very, very aggressive, just like someone mm. who is deprived, who is deprived, because you, the, the normal release, the normal calm they are having, is just like a premature ejaculation. Because yeah. the stress are supposed to, uh, yes, so you just release. The hormones are still raging, they are angry. Because the, sh the short time of really so that's why we are saying sex toys cannot alleviate your stress. So God that created the male reproductive system does not create an alternative. There is no alternative to it. Is it that you have a man or you do not have a there man? There is so, no, see? there is no. I like, I like that word. There is no alternative to it. Yes, there is no alternative mm, to the to penis to the male reproductive uh, organ. There is no alternative. Okay. There is no object. Even if it is vibrator, some we say you plug it to vibrate. It cannot still be like a normal penis. It cannot be like a normal man. Then another thing is that a sex toy cannot take you through the four stages of sex. Like, like in, in studies now, studies reveal that we have four stages of sex. We have the excitement stage. We have the plateau stage. We have orgasm and we have resolution stage. That resolution stage is the stage, or we call it refactory. It's the stage where the man will rest and he is ready for another round. Now, that first stage, those four stages, sex toys cannot take you through it. Because the sex toy cannot play with you, cannot touch every part of your body, the warmth of a man, sex toy cannot give you. So that is why you will still be aggressive. So sex toy cannot touch your body. Now, it can be like a man coming, playing all those things, because most of the time it is the women that, is, that are using the men's self. Because the one mm. that, they, if, even if, if you look at a man, he can just have erection. If you look at him too much, he's already his erection has come. Mm. But a woman, you need to play with her, touch her, do every part, everything. Some women will not still get wet on time, especially those who are of age. So those stages, 
sex toys cannot take you through those stages. Yes, ah, uh, sex toy cannot still regulate your mood. It cannot regulate your mood because the hormone that regulates your mood now that is cortisol, you cannot release it. In fact, there are some normal sex that if a demand does not understand the body anatomy of that woman, doesn't know where to touch her, the woman might just do the sex and she will still not be okay. So now, for a sex toy now, cannot touch you such that you release cortisol that will regulate your mood. So you will still be having mood swing, all those uh, effects of sex abstinence will still be on women like that. So uh, sex toy is not advisable. Sex toy cannot still boost your immune. It cannot boost your immune system. You know that normal sex with a man, you release immunoglobin A, which is a chemical that will boost your immune system and makes you to be resistant to certain infection and diseases. If you see a woman who is not deprived, who is having regular sex, that woman cannot be having all these short, short headache, temperature, some will just wake up, they will be moody, all those things. But because that type of, of woman is getting a normal sex with a normal man, and such woman will not be falling sick every day because immunoglobin hey, helps your immune system, it builds the immune system and makes your internal body to be strong and healthy. Sex toys cannot give you that one. Sex toy, toy cannot give you the immunoglobin hey, that will boost your immune system. Then the flesh to flesh touch of a man, the, the, the sex toy cannot touch you the way a man will touch you. The lubrication that the, we are saying glycerin that will even give you self lubrication, self, the lubrication of glycerin cannot be equivalent to the lubrication that you will get in a sperm cell. Sperm cell contain about 30 components. Inside that sperm, we have potassium, we have magnesium, we have calcium, we have uh, creatinine, we have all kinds, we have zinc that will help your body to produce protein that will make mm, your skin mm, shine. Mm, mm, mm. Fresh. The glycerin they will put in sex store, it cannot give you all those things. It will even damage your cell, your body, the more because by the time it peels off your your vaginal wall, you'll be exposed to STD. But stem cell will rejuvenate your body system, rejuvenate oh, your vaginal wall. So, sex toy can also give STD too. Yes, it is. It, it, it's not as if it can give it directly. But when you are exposed okay. to too much of sex toys, the vaginal okay. wall can peel off. By the time it peels off, okay. then the woman is exposed. The woman is exposed to STD. Or any okay. other kinds of diseases. So uh, that is it. Then sex toys cannot re rejuvenate your vagina the way sperm will do. It cannot rejuvenate or replenish your, your, your vaginal wall. It cannot do it. Also, uh, sex toy can give you urinary tract infection. If you don't know how to clean it, some people will say uh, they will put one liquid. You'll be using the liquid. Before you know it, the liquid will get exhausted. You'll be using ordinary water. How many people now have time to go and boil water and be using hot water to clean up sex toy? When they finish using it, they keep it somewhere. Next time, they still take it and use again. It will give you urinary tract infection. Before you know it, some women, they will start urinating. They won't feel like they want to urinate. They just urinate. So drop it, dropping of urine will be coming from their body system if they are too exposed to sex toys. So there is no alternative mm -hmm. to a man. If you have issue with a man, mm -hmm. instead of, either you have a man or you don't have a man, you cannot rely on sex toy. It has a lot of damage. Like, you know, someone that has urinary tract infection now, we should be using mm -hmm. pampas and be, I don't know. So this does not have alternative. So uh, uh, mm -hmm. those are, and, and apart from that, uh, we are saying that uh, there are some hormones that you will not release. But even if you come as a woman, the you uh, when you come, you release oxytocin, which we all know that from come you release oxytocin. That oxytocin is a bonding mm -hmm. hormone and feel hormone. When you release oxytocin, which is hormone that is supposed to make you to bond, but you're releasing it with a sex toy. So who are you bonding to? You're bonding to plastic. Automatically, they, <laughs> that's why they, they become addicted. That's why they become addicted because the, the oxytocin they release now will make them to bond to that thing or that person that makes them to release it. So you are bonding to nothing because you cannot say oxytocin, oxytocin should not come because when you release, oxytocin will come, dopamine will come, <laughs> endorphin will come. And each, each of those hormones has the work they do. Oxytocin makes you bond. You're bonding with plastic. You're, it's as if it's, it's crazy. I don't know. But that is what is happening. <laughs> That's why they get addicted. They get addicted to plastic. That when you mention a man, any woman who is used to the sex toy, if you mention a man where she is, she will fight you. 
they didn't want to listen they didn't want to talk about it because they believe they have a planet because they are addicted mm. to it yes so uh that is it and the components of spencer cannot be found in sex toy no the way the the, the man organ will work on you touch every walls of your body of your vagina the um, uh, sex toy cannot do that because sex toy is an inanimate object it's just like when you when a woman want to have a baby she needs to give birth if the fetus is alive you see as the woman is pushing the fetus is also trying to come out but let us assume it is a still birth whereby the baby is already dead the stress will be too much on the woman to push out a still birth mm. that's why it's so difficult it's so difficult to give birth to a still birth compared to a living baby so now the work a living organ which is penis we do on you even if the man is not trusting he's just lying down on you you feel that a living thing is in you not to talk of, so if you now compare to an inanimate object that one cannot do the work that a penis will do you can't compare you can't compare so uh there's nothing in sex toys for those who use it because it cannot achieve the se- the f benefit of sex it only damage them the more so i pray the listing honestly Honestly, I pray. I just, honestly, I pray they listen, and I pray that this uh, video will get to those who will actually need it. Because to what you have said right now, actually, I don't see anything pleasurable about the sex toy. Mm-hmm. I don't see anything. Yeah. But I want to ask mm-hmm. you: Is there anything between sex toy and vibrator? I thought both of them are the same. Vibrator is just that. The difference is vibrator. You plug it. You okay. plug it so that it vibrates. You, it vibrates. But the other one, both vibrator and the sex toy are, are collectively called sex toys. But the vibrator, I think, okay. is more expensive and it is more advanced because it vibrates. The, the ordinary one does not vibrate. That's why people who use vibrator are saying that the touch, the touch that we just talked about, that a living organ compared to non-living thing. Maybe that's the reason why the sex toy industry also advanced and produced the one that will vibrate. Whereby when you plug it, it vibrates. He's still dead. He's still dead of his thing. He's still a non-living thing. He still cannot be like the normal penis. Yes. You see, what I what I find very funny about all of these things is is this. Uh, people will tell you, I don't need I, I don't need the touch of a man. But when you are using this vibrator or the sex toy, you still have the image of a man in your head, or else you yes. can come. Uh, you still wish, you still imagine as if a man is touching you, or maybe the woman is touching herself, imagining that it is a man that is doing all the touching. Let's look at the psychological effect of all these things. Let's look at it from that perspective now. Um, I imagine it's a man that is touching me. Actually, it's not a man. I, I just sum up, up in, I just pop up a, the image of a man in my head, why I'm, why I'm doing whatever I'm doing. Does it have a psychological effect on them over a long period of time? Yes, it does have. It has because uh, when you are imagining the presence of someone without mm. the person being available, it's more or less like it's having detrimental effects on your mental health as a woman. That's why we are saying that all the effect of the, the effect of sex abstinence will even be more. And the likes of depression, mood swing, uh, men, uh, imagination, like hallucination, someone in, in, is hallucinating, is imagining the presence of someone. That is more or less mental problem. So mm. that's why women who are too reliable, who get married to do, do sex toys, they don't have a really have good relationship with people. They have mental issues. They have depression. They have dementia. Yes, because I don't think a normal human being will live a uh, human being and be born uh, to to just I don't know how I don't, to to inanimate objects mm. and when there are people around you there are men around you you just get bonded to you you say oh I'm comfortable I'm safe with this and you go to the market use your money to buy them with different shades and everything then you bring them home and you start using them, and you are comfortable. I think that person is not normal. You know? It's not a human being. Yeah, because yes, yes, an yes. average normal human being wants to relate with human being in all sphere. Irrespective. Okay, I think I, some somebody told me that uh, why people use it because they, they fear heartbreak. I say heartbreak is, you can have a guy who actually, both of you could be, uh, people have, uh, what they call it, uh, friends with benefit. Let me use that word. Yeah. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Uh, have friends with benefit 
it's yeah it's more preferable than using the sex toy than getting born with the sex toy now let's look at um, let's take it from another perspective now uh how because let's look because you can't stop people from using it how often can we say it might likely be safe likely be safe for people to use sex toy could be once in a month for those who people who use sex toy are always having this excuse that the husband is not around they didn't want to go out for those who are saying they cannot do without it I sh it should mm. just maybe one in a while one hope maybe within a month but it is still dangerous because you get addicted once you release with a man or with anything you release oxytocin which, which makes you born that's why people are used to masturbation are used to sex so they are addicted because you born just the way a woman is addicted to her husband a woman who is in love with her husband you, you born that's why it's difficult for a woman to go out once a woman starts going out definitely her mind is already bonding with the man he's a man that can do sex without loving the girl Whereby a, a man will have his wife at home, love her with the wife, and still do one girlfriend somewhere. He doesn't love that girlfriend because a man is going for a woman. But what makes a woman sleep out, her mind is already with that man there. So once a woman is releasing it, she, she comes and she's, used, she's releasing oxytocin with any man or anything, she bonds with that man or with that object. So that's why I say you're bonding with a plastic because there's no how you will do it that you will not bond. So I think it's it's a mental uh, problem, yes, for you to find pleasure in uh, in sex toys. No, there are some people who just use it once in a while, but all these chemicals that we just mentioned, they are detrimental to the health if they are too much, if they you, you, you are exposed to uh, too much of it. Yes. So now, now, okay, now let me let me ask you before I let you go. Uh, let's assume a lady who was used to uh sex toy uh probably she have all these uh all these infections she doesn't know will it affect her from getting pregnant infections can stop maybe a she, woman from getting yeah maybe she maybe maybe she now stopped it and she want to get pregnant and maybe she have be used to it for over five years or four years or something but now she's married she's into a she's into a man she want to get pregnant is there possibility that it might uh, hinder her from getting pregnant. Yes, for the likes of a uh, yeast infection, yeast infection mm. now, uh, it can it can move into the the, the system, the, the reproductive uh, system of the woman, like the fallopian tube, the the ovary, all those parts of part of the reproductive female reproductive system. Now, if for example, if it blocks the uh, fallopian tube now. It might hinder the woman from getting pregnant. But the medical doctors know how to take care of that. But yeast infection, especially, which can be caused by too much exposure to bisphenol A, can hinder a woman from getting pregnant. And even ordinary toilet infection, a general infection, any infection can hinder a woman from getting pregnant. Mm. And she needs to go to the hospital and get treatment. Yes. Well, it's always a nice time talking with you. Actually, I tend to to spend 30 minutes on this program, honestly. <laughs> It's always a nice time talking with you. Whenever I talk with you, uh, you are always on point. You are always, in fact, I don't know, you're so amazing. I love you as you have listened to everything she has said. In fact, there is no pleasure in using sex toy. There is no pleasure in getting addicted to sex toy. Uh, she said, there is, God did not provide any alternative. We are trying to provide alternative because of the condition that we think we are in. But at the long run, the effect of that just little pleasure might be, uh, might be very, very detrimental. So before you think about using sex toy, you have to listen to this again and again. You have to think twice. You have to think, does it worth it? And what, what if, that is the most important thing, what if this thing happened? What if this thing happened? What if this thing happened? Think about what if before you start using the sex toy. Thank you very much, Jumoke, for having you. I hope to see Thank you next you. Sunday at the same time. <laughs> All right. Thank you bye -bye. for having me. All right. Thank you for having me.